Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, let's do some bomb in stain blushes. If you saw a video, I don't know, a week or so ago, I was doing swatches of all of them. And Argyle had fallen right out of the packaging. They do have a little bit of glue here. They are magnetic responsive. So they can pop right into a Z palette. I forgot to turn the camera on while I just did lace. So there is the pink one, and these to pop fairly quickly because there's only that little bit of glue on the outside. But see the packaging completely intact. You can do whatever you want with it, display it, make a little you know funness out of it. Up to you. What you do with the packaging is your agenda. Just gonna give these some checks here. These are some of my favorite blushes, but they have been being ignored. Okay. This has a lot of glue on the back, but peels right off. Done. Perfect. So this one's probably ready by now. Again, packaging is totally intact. Let's put this one on here. This is the shade Toil. You can pick up the bomb on their site. And they're also on Hope Look every couple of months. These blushes are highly, highly pigmented. I mean, this one kind of tore up the box a little more. No big deal. That pan is hot. These are probably... I'm leaving them probably on the Z Potter too long, but that's okay. I'm gonna peel it right off. Again, cardboard packaging is usually the easiest to do, even without a Z Potter. You just have to pull it apart and work off the layers of the cardboard. You will get it out of there. Oh, wow, these pans are really hot. Woo! Okay. Wow, I don't even want to touch that. Okay, I'm going to pull this one off. These are going really quick. That one didn't tear up too bad. This is the shade Pinstripe. Whew. See, and the towel is good to have to hold on to it, too. Like I said, I always do like, these are magnetic responsive, but I do like to get off any extra adhesive that might be on the back or product. Put it off to the side so it can cool down. One of my favorites, Hot Mama. Put her up there. Now see, this one popped right out and left all the adhesive in the back, and this is Swiss Dot right here. The back is a little dirty, but that's okay. Pull it off. Nah, I'm gonna throw that on there for another second or so. Get some of this out of here. As you like to clean as I'm going along. This is my new depotting station. This is actually another chest, and all I've done is fill all the drawers here. Which I don't know if you can see. Sorry if the floor is dirty, I didn't get to wash it yet today. But I've been filling them up with tons and tons of product to be depotted. Okay, this one should be ready to go. This must have a lot of adhesive on the back here because it's kind of sticking on me. I always get them one way or another. I feel it. Oh yeah, it's a lot of adhesive. So now I'm actually trying to scrape the back while I even have it in here. Wow, what do you see the adhesive on this one? Woo! For your note, this is the packaging that would come off if you just slice it off with a knife. 
and then the pan would literally be sitting just on here and that's where you know you can pretty much rip it right off of the packaging but that's all it is it's just cardboard you know but if you want to keep the front you know what I mean I'll tear it off there you go you can rip this side off too obviously up to you this has an enormous amount of adhesive on the back which is it's a different adhesive than the other ones see companies probably change where it's manufactured things like that this is one of those that mm, if you ladies don't want to mess up your nails don't be the pot that's why I usually wait till I have nails off to the pot also so I don't stab the product. Because you know how it is when you got the big fake claws on. Wow. This is... That's so on there, I could probably just leave it as is. Okay, let's try one of the other ones. These are the square blushes. This is Cabana Boy, another favorite of mine. Oh, I just pulled out a double-sided Z palette. And you can see how they pop right in. Those actually fit perfectly. I wonder if the square ones will fit at the bottom. If not, you just go like this. I could probably fit three across the bottom. I don't have another long one though. Let's we'll see if the square one fits when, it, when we pop that one out. I know I haven't done depotting in a while. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> I'm falling over. You guys want to see in the drawers? I'll show you that in a minute. I have this stuff piled. I'm actually running really low on Z palettes. That's why I haven't really made a lot of videos. I did order two more double-sided from Sephora last night because the double-sided are on sale for $22.50, which is half price. And I like half price. Okay, this has some different type of glue going on it also. I think this took the entire bottom of the packaging with it. Wow. Okay, yeah, they went nuts on this too. <laughs> Here's the back. But this does peel off, like I said. And here's just the plastic that's pulling off from the bottom that would be in here. Now we have the actual adhesive, which they really don't need this much adhesive for a blush. Maybe they do, I don't know. The pan is warm, like I said. And if you go way back in my videos, <clears throat> This is when I used to use a lighter and all that, and those days are over. Okay, now I just want to see if this fits in here. Nope, see, it's too big, which is okay. So then we, that's where all the square ones would just go on this side. And while I've got you, I might as well do them all. This is Down Boy. Frat Boy, Bomb Springs. But see what I mean about cardboard packaging? It is just cardboard. That's all it is. I mean, he's been sitting in the drawer over here, not getting used. I like to play with my makeup. All of it. Alright. Let's see if these have as much adhesive as the other ones. Starting to work them here. Then we have the new round ones, which are uh, Bomb Springs and Beach Bomb. Now it's weird how they have some are rectangle, some are square, some are round. As a, as a person who depots, that's my biggest nightmare because I like to pack a Z palette as tight as I can. 
because I want to fit as much product in it as I can. Yep, they really like to glue with these. Jesus. Indie potting, you really have to have patience. I know this is not for everyone. This is fine. It's such a smooth glue that it can go right into the pan. There's down boy, done. I mean, do you want to see again? I'll rip this. Do you see what I mean? This would peel right off. Say you're gonna go old school. Okay? You just un just keep unpeeling it until you get, you know, to the bottom. I know not everybody has a Z Potter. I completely understand that. But this is the way I used to go at it. And then you can start tearing apart the cardboard from the product. See what I'm doing here? Back in the day, I would also use a lot of lighters, which was, that's the dangerous way to go. But I would get down to as much, you know, as I could, and then heat it up with a lighter to get the, I mean, you can see the, oh my God, they have so much adhesive on here. This is, it's actually ridiculous. They don't need that much adhesive. They really, really don't. But see, you can tear them apart by hand. I wanted to show you that. See, I mean, I kind of messed this one up. But again, if I wanted to keep the top, rip it off, frat boy, good to go. Okay, let's try the round one. This has been on here a while. That is crazy hot as well, but there's the Bomb Springs. Let's throw on Bomb Beach. Now, I mean, this is, I don't think I've ever seen this much adhesive on a product, but that's a lot of adhesive. And normally, like I said, rubbing alcohol will take the adhesive right off. Um, you can also use Goo Gone. Just be careful of, you know, not to get it into the makeup. You do you. I'll do me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they went adhesive happy with these, that is for sure. Okay, most to the side. This pan. Now this has, again, a different adhesive on it. You can also use your spatula if you need to. I have several tools. This is one of my main ones to help scrape off any adhesive on the back. Ooh! Okay, that's a first. It exploded while it was on the Z-Potter. It got so hot, it popped it in the pan. Okay, hold on, let me unplug this. Okay, that's a first for me too. All right, what we're gonna do, let's try to fix this baby while she's hot. Oh, where's my clean tools? Hold up. It's another one of my very pointed I'm just going to pop a few holes in the center here where it popped. I've never seen a product do that. That was interesting. Rubbing alcohol. Just a clear plastic spoon.
since this is still hot in the packaging, I want to get it out of here so it doesn't have time to re-adhere. But there is Bomb Beach. Okay. This has a much tackier glue, so I am going to, you know, rubbing alcohol, I got to go grab some Q-tips, and I'm going to clean these off with that. This again has the very, very sticky one. No worries, no worries. Oh, what do I have here? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on the towel here. I'm just gonna do one more shot of alcohol. Well, that was definitely a first, having the product pop. Just gonna smooth it out with my finger. Once this dries, it'll be absolutely fine. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> it will be fine. And then here's the Z again. With the square ones. And that's what I love about the Z palettes. I can switch them around any way I want to. Colors, by, you know, shade, by brand. However I want to do it. Okay, so that was a little fun with the bomb. Undoing some blushes. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.